Namaste and welcome. My name is Arshna with Divine Soul Resonance. I welcome everyone to my channel with all my love and all my heart. If you're coming to my channel for the first time, I welcome you. And to all my beautiful existing subscribers, thank you so much with all my heart for all the beautiful love, shares, donations, one-on-one -on -one sessions and helping this channel and community to grow. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. So today I am bringing forth a reading for all of you on love what is happening in your love life in the month of august whether you are connected with someone you're separated or you're actually open to something new okay so uh this is a general reading take what resonates and let go of everything else <laughs> if you want something that's personal then you can reach out to me for a personal reading the details of that are in the description box of this video so let's have a look at the energy in the month of august love energy for the people what's taking place in their love life thank you Someone is reading a lot. Someone is opening their mind to something new. Someone is probably thinking about, I, I'm feeling a shift in perception taking place. Shift in perception and definitely through higher learning, higher knowledge, higher wisdom, could be through spirituality, could be through religion, could be through just them reading you and them both because that's what i'm picking up as your general energy that in this month um, there's a lot of information and there's also a shift in perception and before i started the reading i was picking up there's going to be something that's sudden that takes place in august let's see if that energy opens up because it came up very strongly when i was getting our decks ready uh, i'm seeing like something faded something just coming out of the blue Okay. So perhaps someone is reading, researching, wanting to do something, wanting to take action, but they're burning the midnight oil. I'm seeing that candle go down, down. They've been working really hard on trying to figure something out. How can I make some things work? Okay, that's what I'm hearing. How can I make some things work? Okay, we'll see what else is opening up. August energy, love energy for the people, angels. Thank you. Adjustments are needed. Did I not say? Some sort about flexibility and it's talking about adjustments. So I'm feeling that some of either you and and or your person, either or take it what part resonates, that you're kind of reevaluating your plans, reevaluating how you've gone about things, or they're reevaluating how they have approached this connection. And for someone who's coming in new, they're reevaluating and restructuring their life on what has happened. They've gained knowledge. They've been reading, researching and and finding and gaining more knowledge about it. Let's see what else is there. Show the world the real you. We got the Aquarius energy here. So I'm seeing over here, maybe that person's an Aquarius, OK, or you have an Aquarius in your chart. But more than that, this is perception, same color, amethyst stone, this is the same color. So I'm seeing that there's an openness. So maybe they've been reading, healing. Uh, there's a greater perception that, you know, I can't expect something new if I'm going to continue doing the same things. We want a different results, but we go about it the same way. So something has to change. I need to bring about a change in my perception, in my ideas, in what I do, how I do, what type of action I take if I want to achieve or receive a different goal. So I do feel that in this month, there may be conversations, there may be um, some expressions because this is the water bearer. I'm seeing like emotions, a flow of emotions come out. So I'm sensing that maybe someone's going to come in and have an emotional conversation and showing the real self. Okay, let's see. We'll keep going. Love energy for the people in the month of August. Thank you. Integration and union. So I'm seeing two souls come together. I'm seeing like a reconnect take place. They're wanting reunion. So your person is wanting, is making some adjustments to see how they can show up. Perhaps they have hidden their emotions. Perhaps they have not expressed how they felt. Okay. So there's a shift in perception that's taking place. Like, you know, every time I guard myself, every time I don't put myself out there, every time I don't want to touch upon being vulnerable, 
I'm not really getting the real person. And this is your person, the one you connected with that I'm picking up right now. And now they're saying like you, the viewer, they connected with you and they felt that realness, they felt that real connection and they felt that that was real and they're losing you. Some, I'm feeling like they're losing you and they're wanting to adjust. They're wanting to adjust some things in life and wanting to come into union, come into balance. To, they feel integrated. They feel whole when they're around you. And for some of you, I'm picking up that there is this new person. They're like, I can't continue on in my life I need to have a newer way and a newer wave in which I'm going to be doing things so they're looking to have a partner with whom they can I, I'm feeling feeling that they're wanting that sense of completion wholeness integration where they feel like they can show their real self they can be vulnerable um, they can have conversations with you they can burn the midnight oil with you meaning work together on some things okay so that's beautiful energy of integration in the month of august i'm seeing definitely people coming together at least for conversations to have an open and authentic conversation about an emotional so i'm seeing an emotional maybe an outpouring of how they felt or how you feel caught in the ruins so I'm feeling like um, and this generally number 16 is our tower energy so I'm feeling over here is that they've been in this I'm feeling this as a person trapped energy they've trapped themselves in some memories of the past or they felt trapped in some situation okay and they're feeling like they need to readjust some aspects in their life because it's not bringing them wholeness they need to bring emotional vulnerability in we're going to do one more here is what i'm picking up love vibration for the people in the month of august what do they need to know angels okay we got archangel gabriel archangel gabriel wonderful is coming in here to support you i'm seeing like almost as if like this is the time for judgment this is the time for second chances they're getting a time they're getting a second chance in life okay at this moment in time like do you want a different result do you want a different outcome then you've got to do some different things. So I'm seeing a lot of healing come in. I'm seeing them open to receive the angelic guidance. And for you, I'm seeing angelic support come in where you felt trapped in the past situations, where you've looked for that union. You've looked for an emotionally available partner with someone you can have a intelligent discussion with and you have a life together. There's togetherness. And now adjustments are being made in your life. Okay. Let's look at from the romance angels. Love energy for the people in the month of August angels. Making the effort and releasing your ex. That's what we have. Okay. So uh, what I'm picking up over here is that definitely do you see this? Uh, showing the world the real you and I talked about pouring of the emotions I'm seeing the masculine energy whether you're male or female you may be embodying one or the other I'm seeing the masculine energy come towards the feminine energy okay whether you're male or female it doesn't matter making the effort to be more emotionally vulnerable available to express how they feel because as they bring that integration in okay they're going to be making the effort and here is the message from the romance angel somebody's in this month is going to make an effort to connect with you to speak their heart's truth to talk about unions to talk about perhaps their past traumas and that they were needing to release the ex and for some of you you're holding on to a past person the past x energy is still in your auric field so as you are asking for integration it's not coming through because your aura you're giving out double signals into the universe so i do feel that some sort of a faded event is going to take place something is going to come in boom it's either going to show you the truth and the express and then it's up to you the viewer to see if you want to take that to the next level or you say thank you and then you part ways okay but i do see that either ways 
uh, for you to open up to higher levels of this integration and union that you're seeking and asking, you must release old energies, not think about, oh, I wish they would come back. If they would come back, then you want them coming back in that old energetic way or do you want them coming back into an aligned place where there is love, there is respect, there is harmony, there is passion, there are conversations, there is togetherness, there is happiness and, you know, so much more. Or maybe some of you have, you know, other other things that you're wanting to experience. Once you come into that place, you begin to magnetize that. But if you fragment your energy with people of the X's and thinking about what happened it's important to think about what happened but then it's important to kind of say finally like okay i'm ready to experience something new if i'm ready to experience something new i must close that chapters with forgiveness with honesty and then open myself up to something new so this would be a good time uh, to not to hold on to excess clear your energy field so you can receive this higher vibration Okay. And I feel in this month, you're going to be able to do that. If it's some of you, you've been struggling to release your ex, it's definitely going to take place. Okay. So we got the nine of swords. You may be seeing the numbers nine. You're coming to a closure. Okay. For your mind, anxiety, stress, thinking about when this union is going to happen. Will that person come back? I see you uh, sitting and thinking about it. And I also see that your person who's definitely wanting to come in and speak about, I'm definitely feeling an emotional, big emotional energy. And I, it could be like a burst that comes in. They're up in the head, really up in the head, thinking about all the things that have taken place, all their feelings. And uh, perhaps because they were healing from the past, they came from the shadow sides. They didn't express how they felt. Now they're feeling ashamed, sorry, guilty, all those energies, right? I'm, I'm picking that up, okay? But they're gaining a lot more knowledge with this sleepless nights someone's having sleepless nights over you and we got the conversations again so definitely maybe because this came first reverse and then it flipped so they're 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 missing those conversations passionate conversations and wanting to have those you know wanting to have that connection and reconnection and they're wondering how to fix what is it that I'm supposed to do? I want to make an effort. So in this month, do expect communication. Communication's definitely coming in. And I see that it's going to be more than one person, by the way, you the viewer. Not only are you going to get this past person, I'm suddenly drawn to these eight wands as a few different people who are really interested in you, who are really interested. And um, they want to make an effort and, and they they want to have some sort of a union with you okay so i do see that also what do we have we have a king of swords so two two messages that i'm picking up that um your past person may have been very logical and they kind of held back their emotions to show the real self okay so they were holding back on showing the real self and with that it has caused a lot of stress energy and now they're learning okay that i need to make some adjustments okay i need to the gaining wisdom with the owl and the intelligence the gaining wisdom about renewed conversations and what do I need to do to bring balance in? That's one. Second message I'm picking up is that you, the viewer. Now, I told you because with this today, I'm picking up a few different people, not just your past person. So there's a new person that is um, watching you. Okay, watching in a good way. Okay, not like a spying and obsessive energy. This is what I'm picking up is this person is pretty, um, pretty darn good. Okay. They, they got their mental strength. They're, they're not just logical. I f I'm feeling them very earthy. Okay. They may be someone who loves the nature. They're, they're big on nature. Okay. Um, maybe they're a shaman. Okay. But I do see that they have a lot of power. Okay. So I see someone who is very powerful and someone who has a lot of uh, mental stability and they have a good vision. And I see that I see them seeing you. That's another thing that I'm picking up. I'm seeing them see you. Love energy for the people. Yeah. 
So some some of you are wondering when the reunion is going to take place. Some of you are wondering when are, when is the happiness going to be made. So there's some sort of a adjustments that's taking place at the spiritual level. Okay, and um, for the past person, they're 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 feeling like, hey, you know what? You look like you're in your happy zone. You're having a good time with your friends. Maybe they're stalking your social media. They're watching you. You're having a good time, as if you've turned your back on them. Okay, okay. We'll talk about the new person in a moment. Heart of the reading is a choice. Okay, two of wands. The heart of the reading is that you really are, you my beautiful viewer, are letting go that I'm kind of done with that past energy, not past person, past energy where I overgave, I didn't have boundaries, or I was constantly waiting, where I was disrespected, and I allowed that, thinking that it is still love, that I, I, I must accept this. You have made some choices, okay, some adjustments were made, and these adjustments in how you viewed your perception of the self and perception of what you are capable and what you deserve. So I feel with the with the Leo energy, the deservingness and worthiness has been coming up to the surface. And now you're ready to turn your back on the past. Okay, where it says release your ex. I love that. Okay, where you've been having a challenge in releasing the ex for those who are wanting to release the ex. In this month, you're going to be able to release the ex. A pathway is being opened for you. You're getting a lot of communication, perhaps from some people new. And this also feels like angelic communication coming to you with Archangel Gabriel coming in. You are getting a lot of downloads on a new life a new place maybe you're desiring to move to a new place maybe you're thinking i'm going to travel the world um i'm going to go back back and i'm going to just simply move and have a new life and a new experience i see that for you part of the reading in the month of july is a choice and you're making and clearing a pathway you're making the choice i love this i love this i've already saw what's coming up i'm seeing you look to the future i'm seeing you once you make that choice you're going to continue to expand in this month of August. I'm going to continue to expand. I'm going to continue to build my own self-worth and follow my dreams and know that the right person is here, is here. I'm just getting into that energetic alignment. So I see that you are definitely going to be able to release some past X energy for sure. You're going to be able to release it once and for all. It's going to free your energy up to move forward um, towards integration towards union and from the three of wands we move to the four of wands right wow and you're moving towards your destiny that we got the star card we are moving towards your, you're moving towards your destiny these adjustments were needed so that you could come towards your destiny your heart's desire your wish fulfillment okay you are making these plans and taking one step at a time and you're honoring you and seeing a lot of self-love with this beautiful wow and this self-love this heart's desire is leading to a new beginning with the ace of pentacles here okay there's a lot of communication somebody wants to have a new start with you okay they want to make an offer and this may just kind of come in suddenly because i really picked that up just as you make that decision you let go of that wand you let go of that x energy immediately an offer comes in could be from that same person but i'm i'm picking up a new energy with this one this feels new this feels new because your energy i'm still feeling like this has been a weary journey. You've been tired. I'm seeing this girl really tired. So you could be male or female. Don't worry if I just said girl because that's a depiction here. I'm seeing her facial feature. She's, this was a tiresome journey to release that ex. That you'd really love that person. You'd put in a lot of time. You had thought maybe that was your for after person. And turning the back to move forward and to continue building has been a, a lot of challenge. But you were guided. Okay, so because you're guided, I'm seeing now the universe giving you that kiss saying, hey, we're so proud of you for taking this journey. And here comes this offer. Your heart has been 
wishing your heart's desire has been strung into the star do you see the sun okay that's the brightest star here so it's strung up there and it's never forgotten that's where you're getting this that string and then there it comes something something tangible something radical something here and now a proposal a conversation let's move in together uh, let's talk i love you and we are finally ending the burden we got another 10 here nine of swords to the to the 10 of wands tens are about endings you're letting go of this burden so august is going to be a month of release of heartache release of these burdens in love about fragmentation about being stuck about um about your self-worth i see you picking up a lot of good energy here let's take a couple more for the two of wands angels what is the two of wands what is this two of wands what is the two of wands for the people okay wonderful you're moving towards independence you're moving towards financial security you're moving towards fulfillment okay so some of you, as you clear this, you're going to come into that single energy space, meaning your energy is now open and receptive. OK, so this two of wands is you were seeking balance with this temperance energy. You were seeking balance. You understood these highs and lows. It caused a lot of mental and burdens in your life. And you're saying, I'm done. I'm choosing peace. I'm choosing love. I'm choosing integration. I'm choosing emotional stability. I'm choosing mental stability. Okay. With the stability that you're making this choice with, with this two of wands, you're drawing to you a very, a partner who is something that you've been wishing for. Okay. I see this energy here. This person's very balanced. Okay. He's going to be the yin to the yang. If you're the yang, that person's going to be the yin. If you're the yin, that person's the yang. Doesn't mean you don't have the other, but if you're the predominant holder of yang, which is a masculine energy, you're going to draw to you a more feminine, more receptive energy to create that harmony and balance. That's what integration is about. And if you are more of the receptive, the, uh, the uh, feminine energy, male or female, you'll draw to you your divine counterpart, which is going to be a masculine energy, which is about more about action. So I do see that as you're balancing your inner masculine and feminine, you're drawing to you that aligned person. There's a great amount of movement that has taken place with the seven you may be seeing the number seven you may be seeing the numbers nine you may be seeing the numbers three so three 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 seven 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 okay um for sure or and nine nine and some combinations of nines i'm picking that up there's a great amount of movement this is the chariot okay there's there may be some of you may actually be moving like i said you may actually decide hey i'm going to leave this place and you know kind of come here now for a person who's coming in new this new person is being wishing upon a star has been wishing upon a star for that and they're very balanced in their energy because i'm seeing both of them as very balanced people they definitely want to come in and approach you i told you with this eight of wands i'm picking up like multiple people but there's one en specific energy that i'm going to tap into the other energies i'm not able to tap into right now meaning they may not be that important for me to talk about right now. There's one more person, this other person, it, not the one of your past energy. This is a new person is definitely wanting to make an effort towards you. I'm feeling that. OK, they are going to show up as soon as this energy of your past clears. OK, they're very balanced and they see that you create that balance. You would be that perfect yin to the yang, yin to the yin. OK, and I do feel that they are quite independent. They have their own thing going on besides their mind they may be an entrepreneur okay they may be a business owner uh, they're single and they're happy and they see you as their divine counterpart okay just wanted to see yes you're seeing the numbers seven okay and that's why you've been in this protective bubble energy i'm curious angels i am curious who is this king of swords let's get a little bit more on who this king of swords is this one wants to come who is this king of swords for the people who is this other person who's coming in mm -hmm. should i show you 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 of course archana 
be quiet and show us. Yes. Perhaps I saw something. Let's see what's here. Mm. Who is this person? I asked the question. Who is this new person? Who is this King of Swords? King of Swords can be a female also, okay? But someone who has a um, power, who has mental agility, like I said, is could be a shaman, could be a healer, could be a CEO, could be a boss, could be anyone, but who is in a place of authority. I see them. Okay, they're the boss. They got boss energy. Okay. So they have been holding their heart, my dears, with the four of pentacles. They have been um, holding their energy. Okay. Okay. They've been holding, okay, holding their energy back. But they're seeing you as a union, that union partner. So they want to make that effort. Okay, they want to make the effort because, and I feel like maybe they're a Leo. There's a Leo. There's the energy of Leo that's coming again. They're very strong. So they have this balance of, in this particular deck, look at how beautifully they're showing. They're showing the lion and they're showing a woman. Woman, here representation of the female, the feminine energy of receptivity with the lamb, right? Like the lion and the lamb. Okay, so we're saying like that. So it's got a lot of strength and also very vulnerable, this person, okay? Um, is very careful about where they want to invest their energy, the emotional energy, okay? But they are very deep. They have a lot of emotional energy. And who are they? It says your soulmate. This is the lover's energy. This new person that's coming in is your soulmate. Is someone you have called in this is destined because as I was shuffling from two decks the card of destiny and fate came so this is there may be a fated event that takes place um, but this person is definitely um, wanting to make the effort definitely yin to the yang yang to the yin and I'm seeing the world it's a mystery right now who this person is it's a mystery right now who the person is okay is a new beginning okay here's the six of cups someone you've known from the past i told you this is definitely could be twin flame could be soulmate uh somebody who is you've known really deeply at a soul level you'll feel an instant connect with them you're going to know them you're going to immediately feel the passion the fire the love an instant connect like wow this is home it'll feel like that it'll feel like home Okay, there you feel like dancing with a three of wands, two, three, and there. I mean, it's at the bottom of the deck, meaning we'll get to this. You'll get to that four of wands. Um, there's definitely a reunion from the past that is coming up to you as you release the past energy. There is that ace of wands. It's a hidden, it's mystery right now. As you release it, this comes to you with the wheel of fortune. You're closing out this old cycle of hurt and pain. So that is what we have for our love energy. That is beautiful. That's wonderful. You're drawing in a soul partner to you. But the key message that I would want you to remember out of all of this is to stay in your own alignment and work on letting anything of the past that has been painful to release it with love. Meaning it's not having a hold because you're, you don't want to deal with it because you're angry about it. No, it's not having a hold on it. If that person shows up for you, it's not going to start triggering like, oh my God, you're with another person. No, 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 no. You're coming from a place of, you know what? I'm in my zone. I deserve love. And you do you. We had learning and we learned and I'm in this new place. So I see that that's what I would I would encourage you to remember out of this reading is as you let go and release the past energy there's someone who is coming in it could be the past person revamped upgraded <laughs> right or a new like are we taking an upgraded phone or are we taking a, the new phone okay I don't know that's going to be for each one of you to see what the upgraded version is <laughs> and if that upgraded version works for you or not okay um, that's what I have for you. My name is Arshna with Divine Soul Resonance. If you're new and you stuck on till here, well, thank you. If you like my content, like it, share it, subscribe to my channel to keep growing. I do different types of contents, you know, love readings are one aspect of it. I do a lot of spiritual guidance and I do a number of videos and um, 
I do a lot of chakra conversations. I also offer many things over Zoom and um, you know, courses on manifestations and courses on aligning our energy so we can be at a higher vibration. So if you're interested in anything to work with me for mentorship or work with me on understanding uh, and signing up for these courses, then email me. The details are in the description box of this video. So may Argus bring in this love, this passion, this excitement, uh, this union into your life. Okay, May it bring in a lot of happiness and emotional fulfillment. Okay, Sending you love and light. This is Archana and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.